up YouTube, this your guy V Shredded. In this video, we're gonna talk about, hold on, hold on, hold on, who am I? I am V Shredded, everybody welcome back to the channel. I'm here to add fitness and positivity into your life. That's what it's all about, man. In this video, I'm gonna show you, well, I'm gonna tell you how you can stay motivated, man. When it comes to the gym, I know people get unmotivated and don't wanna hit the gym. They become inconsistent, don't see the results they wanna see. How can you stay motivated? Let's get to the video. Right now, I'm finishing up editing Phil Deverne, this crazy ad workout. Today is Friday, so uh, this video will be uploaded on Tuesday. So if you're watching this right now, Phil Deverne ad workout is a killer workout, man. If you need some abs, you want some abs. <laughs> I mean, need some abs. Who doesn't need abs, man? Everybody loves abs. Everybody wants abs. Do you need abs? Yeah, you need abs. It's very important to have abs. Why? Because it deals with your posture, man. You got to have good posture. Good posture aids in a lot of things. Like, um, a good example is proper uh, organ functioning. If you have round shoulders and your chest caves in, you walk around like this, that can prevent you from not being able to uh, fill up your lungs completely with oxygen. So, yeah, there's a lot of benefits to uh, great posture. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Uh, let me know if you want to. Whatever, whatever, whatever. You know. But anyway, I'm not using my light. I'm using the LED light, which I've been using because my girlfriend is in the room right now using the light that she bought me because she's trying on her clothes. Matter of fact, let's go try. Let's go check it out and see what she in there doing. Wait. Hey. Look at this room. You got all a mess. That's what you wear. Let me see it. Mmm. You need to do something with that bra, though. Now that that's where the, how the bra is supposed to be. It's supposed, it's supposed to, be like to be like that. What? Y'all women are weird. By the way, this is the big light right here. Look how bright this thing is, man. Hold on, let me turn around. Boom, baby! Yeah, you see how it... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Make it's it like brighter. Bright as heck. Oh, a little brighter. Oh, shoot! I'm a ghost. What you looking at back there, boy? <laughs> Do you think this is nice, then? Let's see, guys. No, I don't want their opinion. Let me see. Oh, you need to change them, them uh, toenail polish. Okay, I'm gonna change it. But listen, from serious. Look, Turn look, guys. Now, nah, guys, this is what I don't understand. <laughs> this is what I don't understand. She bought. It's the winter time, and she bought freaking heels with a hole in them. Babe, where are you gonna wear them to without getting freezing cold? Stop. Turn. She literally buys summer clothes 24-7. Like, who does that? I really don't. Put on the other uh, outfit. Y'all gotta see the other outfit. She look like she about to go for a jog in the summertime like we in Cali somewhere. Look at this, guys. She look like she about to go for a jog. Crop top. But it is nice, it's though. It's not a crop top. She don't even go to the gym, so I don't know. Where, where are you gonna wear this? Well, not a crop top, but a short shirt, hoodie slash shirt. Put the hoodie on, let me see. No. Why not? No. No. It's nice. When you're going to join the gym, you can wear it there. <laughs> um, tomorrow. Yeah, right. Check this out, guys. I got my V-shredded tank top hanging up. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm about to go ahead and hit the gym right fast. I got shoulders today. Today was actually supposed to be what? What's today? Friday? Today was supposed to be arms. But the day before, well, it was yesterday, Thursday, I hit legs because Wednesday I didn't hit legs because I got to the gym with like an hour, like an hour, 15 minutes before they closed. I'm like, man, I know I'm not going to get a good leg session in, so I'm just wait till the next day. So I did uh, arms Wednesday, Thursday, legs, and then today I'm going to do shoulders. And uh, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. Guys, if you ever uh, fall off your schedule, just find a way to uh, mix things up, you know, still fit what you need to get in there. But uh, I'm going to get to the gym, and I'll catch you guys when I get back home. Peace. What is up, guys? Just got finished some uh, freaking shoulder workout, man. Something light, bunch of drop sets, light weights. Nothing too crazy, you know. Just to get that pump and get that burning. What's going on, man? Que pasa, wey? <laughs> Shoot. Hey, why don't y'all tell me, man? I didn't know my screen was dirty. All right, guys, I'm just getting situated in the, in the uh, car, man. But motivation, man. What do you need to stay motivated to keep hitting that gym? What do you need? Well, for one, you got me. That's a good thing because I'm here for you. I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to inspire you, give you tips, add value to your life, man. Show you my workouts, give you benefits on certain exercises. 
uh, man, I'm here for you. You know what I mean? That's one. That's one way you can stay motivated. Watch my content. Consume my content. Keep viewing it. When you feel unmotivated, come back to it and just watch it, man. If you need help, watch my videos. Reach out to me. I'm here for you, man. But to tell you the truth, eventually motivation runs out. You have to be. You have to rely on yourself, discipline, in order to carry you out. When you when you feeling lazy and that that motivational speech that you usually listen to isn't working, you gotta get up and go. You gotta get yourself out of bed and take your butt to the gym, because that takes a toll on your mental. And I'm telling you now, think about this: if you go four days and you skip that fifth day, that's not gonna set the tone for the next week. If you get out of bed on that fifth day and drag yourself to the gym. No matter what you do, you go through the motions, lighten up the weight, uh, do higher rep ranges, uh, do some cardio, some abs. As long as you take yourself to the gym and put a little effort in to contribute to your physical health, you are going to feel great. That's going to set the tone for the next week. You're going to look back on, a, on, on Monday. You're going to say, man, I went a whole week last week. Let's get this week done. Seeing results will definitely motivate you as well. But you got to be consistent. You keep working out, keep working out. You see the results, you're like, yeah, I want some more. But that's where that self-discipline, that consistency kick in. And that's where that motivation come back in. That's how you stay motivated. You see how it all wraps around together? I'm telling you, you just got to keep at it, keep at it, keep tipping away every single day. You know what I mean? Don't look, don't look far, far down the road. Take it one step at a time. Look, let me tell you a story. I remember one time I'm in the gym. I was at uh, Corral's Fitness. And this is a 24-hour gym. And uh, I was in there around like 1 or 2 at night. And I'm by myself doing squats. I looked at my legs. I'm like, dang. And y'all laugh right now. My legs was mad skinny, man. And I'm, I, it, it was like, it made me feel unmotivated. I'm like, shh. I don't even want. I don't even want to squat no more. Ain't nothing. I'm not seeing nothing. And then I said, you know what? I'm gonna take it one day at a time. I started taking it one day at a time, going, going, going. And my legs got bigger. They got stronger, man. By staying focused, staying consistent, and being disciplined. I said, nah, man. I gotta keep going. I want to see results. And when I saw them results, boy, I was in it. But I started putting weight on that bar. I started going even harder. That's when the motivation really kicked in. When you see them results, man, I'm telling you now, you're going to really be ready to work out. I was in it. I was like, let's get it. You know, even now, I go in, get a little pump and take my shirt. I'm like, dang, I'm getting bigger. Let's do it. Let's grab the weight. I really get in there. It's be going crazy sometimes. Singing my song out loud, people look at me. I'm like, look, man, this is what I'm doing. I got to get mine. I'm going to take a look back where I was. I'm like, look at my legs. Look at my arms. Look at my chest, my back, everything, man. I'm like, yeah, that's the motivation right there, them results, man. That's what's going to get you. That's what's going to keep you going to the gym, them results. But you got to be consistent. You got to be disciplined. When you don't feel like getting up going, you have to go. You have to get out the bed and go. Nah, I, I don't feel like it. That's not going to get you the results you want. That's unmotivation right there. You got to keep going. That's going to bring the motivation. You know what I mean? That's how I've been doing it. And that's why I'm here to help you, teach you, tell you, get in that gym, man. Get in that gym. I'm here to motivate you. Take that first step in the gym. And I'm here to motivate you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm giving you the tips along my road and the road that I came down. What is up, guys? Just getting back home. My camera died while I was talking in the car. But back to what I was saying. Hold up. Look at my little baby shoes. Look at all deteriorated. Oh, little baby shoes. <laughs> But, but anyway, guys, back to what I was saying. Motivation, man. Let me just tell you guys right now. If you're banking on motivation to keep you going through to the gym, it's not going to work. Motivation wavers, goes up, goes down. It all depends on uh, many factors like what's your performance like in the gym? Are you seeing the results you want to see? It? What's your energy levels like going into the gym? So many things to take in consideration uh, when it comes to motivation. Now, what you can do is rely on your self-discipline to get you to that gym. I'm telling you now, um, I have a passion for working out, but sometimes I just don't feel like going. You know, it's just, there's just days where I don't feel like you know, going to the gym, but I rely on my self-discipline to get me to that gym and get my workout done, and I feel so much better once I get it done. And I'm like, dang, I'm glad I went to the gym. I'm glad I got this workout done. You know, because it doesn't throw my schedule off and things like that. Now, how can you build self-discipline? Start off small. You know, so many people want to jump right in. They People don't even, people haven't even worked out in years or... 
People haven't even worked out a day in their lives and want to go seven days a week. People haven't even meal prep, but they want to go to the store and buy all this food and just and just freaking go go nuts in the kitchen. And I know because I know from experience, man, I did this. I was working out stuff, so, and that wasn't the problem because I, <clears throat> I had a badge for working out once I started. When it came to meal prep, I'm like, I want to meal prep, so I wanted to jump all in. And I want seven days, man. By the third day, I'm like, man, this food is disgusting. I don't even want to eat it no more. I throw it out. Wasted money, wasted time, wasted food. Oh my goodness, man. Definitely learn from that. So I'm delivering this message to you guys. Do not do that, man. Start off small. But thankfully, being the person that I am, I didn't just throw my hands up and say, screw it. And uh, I think it's because I had a passion for fitness. So I definitely had to make my eating habits work. I had to make them right in order for to see the results that I want to see in, my, in the gym. So... With that being said, guys, don't just jump all in. Take your time, man. Go one day or go two days um, to the gym and just be disciplined at that. Say, I'm going to go one day and keep going, keep going. And that builds consistency. That builds self-discipline because all you, have to all you have to do is go one day, one day. And then before you know it, you're going to be in there two days, three days, four days, and then five, six days a week. And it's not going to be a problem because you didn't just jump all in. You took the time. You progressed. Let me just tell you one thing. Self-discipline will not work if you don't know why you're going to the gym. You know, if you're just going to the gym just to go, then eventually you're not. You're just going to be like, screw it. I don't want to go anymore. If you don't feel like going, you're just going to stop going. You're not going to create self-discipline because you don't have a reason to get up and go. You see, my why is I want to contribute to my physical and mental health. That's why I get up and go to the gym. I, I like getting up feeling good. I like looking in the mirror and saying, dang, flexing on my biceps, my back, my chest. Things like that. That's my why. But what is your why? Do you want to look good? Do you want to feel good? <laughs> but I'm going to leave it on that note, guys. I always intend to uh, add value to your lives and help you guys out. So if this video is very helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Drop me some comments. Let me know. I would like to know. Uh, give me some feedback. And uh, remember, stay fit, stay positive. This is your guy. Be shredded. And I'm about to here. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.